Welcome to P2. Today we're going to be starting the series on differentiation and this video will be about increasing and decreasing functions. Now, if a function is increasing, it means it has a positive gradient and a decreasing function is going to have a negative gradient. Now, since a lot of the functions we deal with for example, this kind of cubic, have both positive and negative gradients, what we do is we look at them in sections. So if I look at this one, for example, here's a turning point and here's a turning point. And if I look after this turning point here, this is going to have an increasing gradient, positive gradient, it's going to be an increasing function. Okay. And for example, here we can see that this is going to have a decreasing function. Here it's going to have a negative gradient, to give you a couple of examples. So when we're doing this, we always need to talk about it being within an interval of two values. And we need to talk about the function. So we know that the gradient is when we differentiate the function. So differentiating f of x, I would get f dash x I'm just, just going to say dash but I know it's not really a dash and if this is positive it's increasing okay and I always need to state the interval it's between and then decreasing is less than zero now in terms of your p2 okay uh, you can have these as strict inequalities or non-strict inequalities so strictly speaking a positive gradient would be greater than zero and a negative gradient would be less than zero a non-strict would be including that zero okay so i'm going to use the strict ones as i go through my examples and questions but either set, whether you put it equal zero or not equal to zero, will still give you the same result in terms of your examination. Okay, you'll still get full marks if you, whichever one you use. So, easiest thing to do now is to look at a couple of examples. So, here we've got, find the values of x for which f of x is an increasing function. So the first thing I want to do is differentiate this function. So I'm going to multiply by the 3 and take 1 away from that power. So 6x squared. Remember, you're multiplying by the power, taking 1 away from the power. And that is my function there, differentiated. Now, for an increasing function, we want our differentiation part to be greater than zero. As I said, I'm just going to stick with the strict ones, but if you put the equals in, it's still correct. So that means that 6x squared minus 30x plus 36 is greater than zero. I can see that I can divide here by 6 and make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to do that. Next thing here would be to factorise. So we get x in both. It's going to be a 2 and a 3, and they're both negative. Now at this point, I do need to kind of be careful. What I'm really looking at here is I am solving this where, as if it's equal to 0, and that will give me my critical values. So I'm going to do this on the side here, so critical values are going to be x equals 2 and x equals 3. Okay, so these are when that function is 0. Now, I want to think about this is how I solve inequalities, remember? So first I want to sketch this and I know my critical values are 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 here and it's a positive x squared graphs it's going to look like this now i want 
when the graph is above zero. So it's above zero. You can see it in this direction here. So it's above zero for all x values greater than three. It's above zero for all x values less than two. So what I can do now is I can say that my f of x is an increasing function when x is less than 2 or x is greater than 3. Okay, so x less than 2, x greater than 3 because that is the point that my line on my graph is above the x-axis. And that is how I go about solving these inequalities. So, second example here, same kind of thing. This time we're looking for a decreasing function. So, start off by differentiating. 4 is going to go minus 2, minus 2x. Two now, if it's a decreasing function, my f of x, my, sorry, my differential here is going to be less than 0. So, for decreasing, it's less than 0. So, that means minus 2x. Minus 2 is less than 0. Now, I want to think of my critical values. So, if you're in doubt, you know, just take it to one side. Talk about your critical values so that an examiner knows that's what you're doing. And solve it on the side here. So, we can see that x is minus 1. That is going to be my critical value. If I draw this graph, um, minus 2, minus 2x, if I think of it, drawing y equals essentially minus 2x minus 2, we know it's going to cross at minus 2, and that it has a negative gradient. Yeah, this critical value here is my minus 1. So I can see that everything less than that is going to give me a positive function and everything to the right of this is going to give me my negative and my decreasing function. So I want x to be greater than minus 1. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in a sentence. f of x is a decreasing function when x is greater than minus 1. And job done. So it's a short video today, I'm going to give you three questions and as always I'll put the answers at the end.
Hope you found this short video useful. Don't forget to like it, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you soon.